2019 recipient of the American College of Healthcare Executives Gold Medal Award embodies the behaviors, traits, and values that are embraced by healthcare's greatest leaders. Christine Candio has contributed to the advancement of the profession through her incredible commitment to improving healthcare through professional development, continuous care delivery enhancements, and exemplary leadership. Chris began her career as a nurse, and she has gained extensive healthcare operations and senior executive leadership experience from three decades in both acute care and outpatient settings. Throughout her journey, she has demonstrated an entrepreneurial spirit along with a commitment to community health and wellness. She was appointed president and CEO of St. Luke's Hospital in January 2015. Prior to that, she served six years as CEO of Inova Alexandria Hospital and senior vice president of Inova Health System. You can read more about Chris and your program, but I want to share with you just a few of her accomplishments. At St. Luke's, Chris has focused on continuous improvement and always putting patients first. Through its Passport to Wellness program, St. Luke's works with more than 100 area employers to provide health risk assessments, biometric screenings, and information to improve community health while helping employers manage their costs. In addition, as a spirit of women's hospital, St. Luke's provides engaging health events and information to reach women and their families. Chris and her team have also helped expand outpatient service locations to increase access. The most recent expansion included acquiring, in May of 2018, St. Luke's de Paris, a community hospital, and a $40 million outpatient center that allowed for growth in therapy services, wellness, and offering critical assistance to the area's aging population. In 2015, she was instrumental in the implementation of St. Luke's Heart and Vascular Institute's affiliation with our nation's number one heart hospital, the Cleveland Clinic's Heart and Vascular Institute. This collaboration enabled St. Luke's to build upon its rich history of healthcare excellence while allowing patients to receive care close to home. Chris has served on boards of many professional and community organizations and has been a guest speaker at numerous healthcare conferences throughout the country. Currently, she is adjunct faculty at the Georgetown University Graduate Mentorship Program, is on the advisory board for George Washington University's MHA program, and a member of the Missouri Hospital Association Board of Trustees. She was a recipient of the 2012 Washington Smart CEO Bravo Award. In 2014, Chris was recognized by Becker's Hospital Review as one of the 24 leading women to know in healthcare. In 2017, she was cited by Modern Healthcare as one of 10 women to watch and as one of the most influential businesswomen of 2017 by the St. Louis Business Journal. She is board certified in healthcare management as an ACHE fellow and has served as ACHE chairman, chairman elect, and immediate past chair from 2013 to 2016, and as a governor from 2010 to 2013. In 2014, Chris received ACHE's Regent Award for New Jersey. Chris earned a Bachelor's of Science degree in nursing from the William Patterson University in New Jersey and a Master of Public Administration with a focus in healthcare management from Fairleigh Dickinson University. For her dedication to advancing healthcare excellence and her commitment to developing future leaders, the Board of Governors of the American College of Healthcare Executives is pleased to bestow its 2019 Gold Medal Award upon Christine Candio. Chris, would you come to the lectern? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. 
Uh, thank you so much. Uh, receiving ACHE's Gold Medal Award is such an incredible honor and a true privilege. I'd also like to congratulate my co-recipient, Dr. Ken White. I'm definitely in very good company with Ken and all those who have uh, had this honor bestowed upon them in the past. I'd like to thank Deborah, our Board of Governors, the ACHE Awards Committee. Also a special thank you to Katie Nowak, who is our Missouri Regent, uh, who's been very supportive of me. Also a big thank you to my team at St. Luke's, many of which I knew were going to be here, and then three of them surprised me and showed up in addition to the ones I knew were gonna be here. So I have a whole group here, and I can't thank them enough for their continued support. Last but definitely not least is my family. My son, Jason, and my husband of over 35 years, Vincent. Many of you may know Vincent, it's AKA Vinny, Vinny from Jersey. Um, that's my man, he's my rock, and he provides me guidance and always challenging me to look at things from different perspectives and uh, reminding me always not to take myself too seriously. I would not be here uh, today if it wasn't for family. You know, I reflect back when I stood before you as chairman of ACHE almost five years ago. Truly a highlight of my career and my life. Many of the tenets and goals that I shared stand true today. I have been blessed over my career to meeting such wonderful individuals from all walks of life. Throughout my personal and professional journey, I have always tried to live out the principles of stewardship and servant leadership. My career spans over 35 years, beginning, as you heard, as a bedside nurse to current day as a healthcare leader of a large network. I have a very strong commitment, compassion for our profession. As leaders of our industry, we know we face very, very large, enormous challenges, but there are also great opportunities. Most importantly through it all, we all do. We lead with integrity to be true to our organization's mission and be true to ourselves. Life's fundamentally about the journey. It's about life's experiences focusing on the patient, the communities we serve, and focusing on our team members. That is what always grounds me. Our willingness to adapt to change, acknowledge our imperfections, to innovate will determine our success going forward. At the end of the day for me, it's all about the imprint that we leave, making a difference and hopefully touching people's lives in a very meaningful way. To that end, I'd like to close by sharing a very special story with you from a very grateful family that had a life-altering experience with our health system. And I quote, in some ways it seems like yesterday, in many ways it seems like a lifetime ago. Twelve years ago we received a dreaded call from the police department saying there was a medical emergency with our son and for me and my wife to get to the hospital ASAP. We had no idea. Was it a car accident? What, food poisoning? What? We later learned it was a drug overdose. The paramedics did all they could and transported him to the hospital and worked on him tirelessly during the trip to the hospital. Later they told us they would not give up on him. Upon arrival, the ER staff worked on him. He coded several times, but they did not give up. Finally, upon stabilizing him, they moved him to the ICU, where he coded again. But the nurses and staff would not give up on him. In the coming hours, which turned into days, which turned into weeks, they nursed him out of his coma. At first, we just prayed for life. And then we prayed for life without severe brain, kidney, and liver damage. As he got better, our prayers changed. The gifts we received, the miracles we witnessed, the angels that comforted us may never be duplicated, but we will forever be indebted to all the staff. These people not only cared specifically for our son, but they cared for our entire family. We will always be thankful and pray for all of you, but please know what you do makes a difference. Sometimes every kind word, one kind stroke of someone's head or hand, one word of encouragement, one smile can truly impact and make a world of difference with a patient or family for a lifetime. Today we pray and thanks for our son's life. Thank you and God bless you and keep doing what you can do to make a difference. This family 
end quote. This family sends us updates on, his son, on their son and his son's family every single year, and it's going on about 15 years now. This, my dear colleagues, is why we do what we do every day. So thank you for doing what you do every day, and thank you again so much for this incredible honor. Thank you.